uh, Josh Sussman, you are an actor, right? Correct. That is accurate information. <laughs> well, thank God. Thank God. We're off to a great start so far. You did your uh, research. Yeah. Now, uh, most notably, probably from a TV show called Glee. Is that right? Would you say? Accurate again. You, you nailed it. Let's I also I did some research. Also, Wizards of Waverly Place, it seems. Right? Yes. Accurate, accurate. <laughs> that kind of sounds like a cracker. Wizards know, of Waver Waverly, Place. Waverly Place. Yeah, it just sounds like a nice, like, highbrow cracker. Anyway, um, so Josh, when did you know that you wanted to be an actor? Was it something you just kind of always wanted to do as a kid? Or was it something where you grew up in LA and you're like, well, everybody else is doing it. I guess I'll give it a shot. Or somebody was like, that kid's got gumption. I want to put him in a movie, see? Well, I, I come from New Jersey and I grew up as a huge fan of The Muppets and Fraggle Rock. Mm -hmm. And I, Those it was aren't my actors. fifth birthday party. And I, when my mom was asking me who I wanted to invite to my birthday. And of course I named the Muppets and the Fraggles. And my mom explained that we couldn't invite them that they live inside the television. And I, it all started with me figuring out how do I get inside that television set? <laughs> and so I have not met the Muppets yet. I've met Muppeteers, but my interest in acting- That's when they cry, right? What? Muppet tears don't pay any oh, attention to him. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. That was so good. It went over my head. That's really good. It was so good. It was terrible. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was all the way on the other side of the spectrum. Sorry. Please continue, Josh. No. So I, I just wanting to meet the Muppets and get inside the television set, and wait. So that's a job. Wait, I, actors. Okay. So my parents did put me in acting classes starting at age nine. Huh. I really enjoyed it, and I did lots of school plays. And I at least studied acting. And then after high school, I went to a two-year acting conservatory and then decided to move to L.A. with just a suitcase and a dream. And wow. I did get to work on a show with puppets. Um, but, yeah, I'm still searching for those Muppets. But, yeah. Boy, oh, boy. I'm at the Tragic. Frog. Tragic. Uh, what, uh, what kind of character do you usually get typecast as, would you say? They usually want me to play like the really cool guy mm -hmm. who gets all the <laughs> girls. And, no, no, I'm just joking. Um, oh. like, have a, <laughs> they usually, I don't want to, I don't know if this will be shocking. They usually ask me to play like a nerdy type, uh, someone who's maybe a little um, creepy or awkward, eccentric, but also endearing and friendly. Um, I, I think that uh, almost perfectly nails your, 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 the, what I'm getting from you, your energy. The... He is very friendly. He's always a fun guy to hang out with. Uh, we, we've had some good times. Yeah, um, I can't wait we do those good times again. I know, me too. Or Mama's Family, or 227. Okay, 70 shows. I got that one. <laughs> uh, 227 is maybe 80, but yeah, good enough. Uh, so, but as we're saying, Josh, is there a role that, you know, outside or inside of, you know, what you're typecast as, is there a role that you just prefer doing? I mean, do you just love doing comedy or do you love playing a nerdy guy or do you, do you long for playing a dramatic role or a superhero? Yes, I would um, love to be a superhero. That would be so cool. Um, I want to play positive characters. I used to, if I was asked this question even, a year ago, I always oh, it'll be fun to play a, a serial killer or someone like dark. And I think it still would. But now with so much like darkness in the world, mm. I, you know, I feel like I could do well at that. I feel just saying that, I don't know if I'm putting out negative energy. And I, I do want to like be a joyologist and spread joy. And however I could do that, if I could do that in comedic roles, um, I don't know my dr what my dream role is. Um, it would be cool to be on a start on Star Trek or something like that. Man, you'd be a perfect Ferengi. You can nail you can nail being a Ferengi. I think. Yeah, um, my ears aren't big enough, but I guess those ears <laughs> you do makeup maybe. <laughs> they've got they've got people to do that for you. So yeah. if you if you if you were a superhero, what do you think your superhero name would be, or your superpowers too? Um. Hey, Jolly Josh. 
Yes. And I would spread joy and positivity. And I try to do that. Um, when I walk around the streets, I, you know, I smile at people, try to give a head nod, acknowledging. Um, I, sometimes that is awkward, but I, just, I don't know. Yeah. Um, if there's someone that, I, actually, no, I'm not, I just censored myself from telling a story that I'm not going to share. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Uh, but no, I just, what would my superhero be? Just to make people happy, if that, if that could be a power. Yeah. And I wish people could get along. I think there, people's tolerance is a lot lower than it used to be. And that's scary. Like it, sometimes it feels like we're going backwards. And right now in 2020, like things seem worse than they were 30 years ago. And, you know, some of the shows that you mentioned are from the seventies. I feel like they would not be made today because if they weren't a politically correct, like I was just watching, they were showing scenes from Golden Palace, which was a spinoff of Golden Girls. And it was a great scene. I was going to say, I was hoping you were going to say Golden Girls, but you said Golden Palace. I haven't heard of that one before. Okay, so Golden Palace is a spinoff of Golden Girls. Um, and, I knew oh, Empty Nest was. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. I think Designing Women might have also been. But, yeah, so there's this clip that's been going viral with Don Cheadle and the Confederate flag and... People are saying this is from a 1988 episode of Gold of Golden Girls, and I'm like, no, it's Golden Palace. And I see some people correct. Actually, this was from the 1992 Golden Palace, and then people are getting mad at them, saying you're missing the point. And it's like, well, accuracy is important. Yeah, yeah. And it's like if <laughs> mentioning this was a thing from Friends. No, it was the spinoff Joey. Like, I don't. I'm There's sure. definitely a lot of snark on, on the internet these days that I've noticed. I've too. noticed a little flavor lately, a right? little salt in the air. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. It's like a little, yeah, just a little, just a little bit of a dump truck. Now, Josh, what's your preferred genre of show or movie to do? Sci-fi, oh. comedy, romantic comedy, mystery, action. I, I would, you know, I haven't delved into too many of those. I don't think I've done it sci-fi. I don't think I've done it horror, which I would love to do. Um, you know, I used to, when I grew up watching movies like Harry Met Sally, and I would see mm -hmm. someone like Billy Crystal as the lead and having the interest of a beautiful woman, I would think, Billy Crystal could do that. I could do that. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be really nice. I would love to have do a romantic comedy. Um, I mm -hmm. love comedy. I love romance. You put them together have some romantic comedy i don't want to do that but action i would love to do action i've been i've been walk during quarantine i've been walking about 11 miles a day people nice. on the quarantine wow. 15, i've trimmed down 15 pounds during quarantine nice. so hopefully i'm building a superhero body i don't action hero body i want to save people i'd play a villain too <laughs> That could be scary. I would love to see you as a villain. I don't feel like you've had the opportunity to play a villain, uh, on, or maybe not too often, but I think you can do it really well. Yeah, on Glee, my character was kind of creepy, but not so much as a villain. It's a high school show. I was in a high school, and I would blackmail like the main girl, saying if she, if she didn't give me her panties, I would write a bad article about her in the school paper. Hmm. So it, that's... That old gag. Villainous, but... And on Fish Hooks on Disney Channel, I played a meat, a villain crab. But that's just with my voice. But yeah, I would, I would love to play a villain. But then here's the thing. Now the reason, I don't want to say I'm scared to be a villain. I got such hate mail from being a villain on Glee and people not knowing that it's fiction. And I get the right <laughs> hate mail getting mad at me. I can't believe you did this to Rachel. I still don't forgive you. It's a TV show. People. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the Glee fans are great, but some of them didn't know it was TV. <laughs> and it's like, I set myself up for if I play a villain or, I mean, do they, does Anthony Hopkins get hate mail for playing a cannibal? And, yeah, it's a good question. I don't know. You know, I, uh, I just remembered actually, uh, Josh, and I don't know if you want to share this story or not, but do you remember that one time that you and I were at a mall together and you were recognized, we were in a candy store and you were recognized. Do you remember that, or do you want me to tell it? See uh, if it? I don't recall. I remember being in the mall with you. I don't recall this 
oh, is this, I think maybe, I, I'm not sure if I'm remembering the correct And story. it's actually relevant to what I, was, I wanted to bring up for this thing, um, which was uh, where, you know, we go into the candy store, because, I mean, whatever. Free samples. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, so candy. We, so. Yeah, we go in there, we kind of look around, and there's these two kids, you know, they were like teenage girls, I don't know, anywhere between 12 and 18, who knows anymore, right? Yeah. And they're kind of like looking at Josh, like giggling, <laughs> you know, like, you know. And then when we leave, they came out and they asked to get a picture with you, Josh. And, you know, so they recognized you. And I said, oh, yeah, I'll take the picture. You know, you guys pose. And they said, they said, Ghostbusters, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then you said, you're like, yep. <laughs> and you just made their day. <laughs> They oh, thought you were Rick Moranis or something? Maybe. Here's the thing. I wasn't in Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, they, they said, oh, this is funny because we were just watching Ghostbusters the other day. That's what it was, right, yeah. And the thing is, so many times people will recognize me, and, ah, oh, it feels good. I'm getting acknowledgement. And, like, the Skittles commercial, like, I, that's not me. And it's like, and I feel just... <laughs> Almost I, defeated or embarrassed because I, I've agreed to take the picture and I, I can tell they're so excited. And I've learned they're so happy. They end up being disappointed if I tell them it's not. Yeah. So I've learned just say yes. They were happy. Then it's embarrassing for everyone. And then like, what are you in? And I don't want to have to list. I was in this. No, I, I never saw Glee. I was in this. And then it just seems weird. And if people are witnessing this, that guy's naming his whole resume. How desperate for attention. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Ghostbusters came out when you were like a toddler or something. <laughs> I think it is one of the 2016 Ghostbusters. Um, but yeah, no, things at the mall. I, there's always people. It's, and it's so surreal. So online, people would write the meanest things because of my creepy character. But online, every, I mean, in person, everyone's always been so nice. So then I wonder, are these just online bullies or... Mm. That's something I've noticed too, is that people have a completely different persona behind the safety of a computer rather than in front of somebody's face. And I think they realize, oh, he actually is really nice. He's not like his character. And so I really hope that I come off different as in the character so people don't have to, like to this day, people still comment on my stuff. You scared me. Uh, or the re Someone actually wrote on my TikTok a week ago, um, the reason I'm scared of men is because of your character on Glee. <laughs> ah, damn, I damn TikTok. Ah, gets us every time.